वेलकम टू मरीन टेक हब टुडे आई लाइक टू थैंक ऑल माई सब्सक्राइबर्स ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड फॉर मेकिंग मरीन टेक हब टू दी हाइस्ट लेवल सो आई हैव अ मेम्बरशिप लेवल फाइव वेर आई विल गिव फुल सपोर्ट फॉर वन ईयर एंड ऑल द वीडियो लिंक्स सो पीपल आर कॉलिंग फ्राम शिपिंग कंपनी सुपरटेंट चीफ इंजीनियर्स ऑल अदर इंजीनियर्स आई एम गिविंग रियल टाइम हेल्प दे कैन सेंड द मैसेज ऑन माई व्हाट्सएप I'll be replying to them for membership level five. So today we are going to check the alternator bearing uh, clearance. So this is one of the important thing. In this picture, you can see we have a synchronized generator here, and uh, we need to check the alternator bearing clearance. So this is very important. so normally this is done in the dry dock or you can even do in uh, sailing also so this is the first slide this generator is a brushless ac generator normally the insulation is f class insulation uh, where f class means it can withstand a temperature of 145 degrees that is what it is so we are going to open it before you open it you need to carry out the toolbox meeting and risk assessment make sure you isolate everything so this is one part of it so right now this is the uh, free end side where the oil is there inside we are removing the cover here removing all the bolts and remove the cover this has been done in the dry dock the way dry dock so once you remove the cover you can see you can remove all these bolts you can remove all these bolts there are springs inside which acts like a damper so make sure you collect all the bolts and keep it in one place very important so what you have to do is keep all the items together once you open the cover once you open the cover you can see the springs okay these are used for dampers damping effect so you remove all the springs uh, engineers who have sailed on ship and uh, will not get an opportunity to open this because this experience is required once in the dry dock sometime they open this so you can always uh, have the opportunity to look at my video so remove all the springs from the place keep it in one place okay then once you remove all the spring you collect it and keep it separately otherwise you may miss it so this job uh, was done in the dry dock so i'm trying to show you that once you remove all the springs then it will be looking like this the picture because most of the time what happens is uh, you are not aware how to remove and check so we'll be using a a uh, gauge uh, for pressing up the bearing that is a uh, plastic gauge i will show you that in the later image so i have opened the free end side you can see here we open the full free end side that is how it looks like then once you remove then you need to use the you can see here this is the other side Uh, this is the uh, alternator here Rot rotor you can see the rotor here so i open the top cover here the top cover here and you have the oil ring you can see two oil rings here so once uh, you remove the uh, top cover then you put the plastic gauge that plastic gauge will make a mark blue mark on that so if you see here this is the this side is the engine and this is the alternator side and we have removed the top cover from here okay once you remove the top cover you can see the ring oil ring you can see this oil ring uh, make sure this is okay good this is the top cover here so the bearing part is the one which is touching here so we will put the plastic gauge and press it once you press it the blue mark will come on here then use the okay so it, this is the oil ring here so when 
uh, it is rotating the oil will be getting splashed so make sure the rings are in good condition very important so this type of experience you will get only when you are in the dry dock and uh, you are having an opportunity to look at it so you can see this top cover removed i am showing here then you can see the oil ring and you can see the oil here you can see the oil inside so when it is rotating this ring will rotate and uh, splash oil such as that the lubrication takes place okay so this is the uh, plastic gauge uh, indicator when you keep the plastic gauge and press it then you get the blue mark once you get the blue mark then this is the strip supplied with the plastic gauge then you check the how much it is pressed that width according to that uh, you will know how much clearance is there so always refer to the instruction manual book and make sure if the clearance is more then you need to change the bearing very important so you can see here the the blue mark after you keep the plastic gauge inside and press it then you get the blue mark here the plastic gauge is nothing but it will be a like a, a simple uh, uh, plastic uh, plastic which is you have to keep it and press it okay the ones that press then it will form a uh, with you can see the it has got an impression here one well, then you measure with this plastic gauge uh, this strip will be given and you will have uh, plenty of plastic gauge wires which will be used for keeping at different places very important plastic gauge is written over here there are different sizes of plastic gauges available accordingly you have different colors so you check for that then you will understand what it is you can see here once you keep the plastic gauge and press put the cover back then you can see a mark here you can see this mark it is in press normally like when you previously they were using the lead lead used to keep and press then you measure the thickness of the lead so now we are using plastic gauge it makes an impression here this is one of the important thing which you should be able to understand okay so very important if you have any message regarding the clearance uh, you can always message me my email number is my whatsapp number is there email address okay and if you make payment to my bank account i will be giving you one month full support on board the ship and uh, full video links okay if you like the video please subscribe and have a nice day thank you very much